This video is brought to you by NordVPN. Get 75% off via the link below. The European country Belgium has recently faced a large series of games pulled in the region and Nintendo has now gone on record to say that it will no longer release certain games in the country. This news follows Nintendo announcing that they will be pulling both Fire Emblem Heroes and Animal Crossing Pocket Camp in Belgium on August 27th, meaning that people located in Belgium won't be able to either download or play these games. Both of these titles are extremely popular with fans and so this news is a big deal for people located in the region. However, this is a move that Nintendo has needed to take to try and make sure it complies with a Belgium court's decision that was made last year that ruled that loot box-like mechanics in several video games are considered games of chance and are subject to Belgium gaming law. This means the games were breaking the law in Belgium and developers could be subject to prison sentences of up to 5 years and fines of up to 800,000 euros. Following this monumental ruling, publishers have been quick to try and make sure they don't fall afoul of Belgium law. As shown here, many games have been modified in the country to remove loot box mechanics, including CSGO, NBA 2K, Overwatch, Heroes of the Storm, Guild Wars 2 and more. EA tried to fight this ruling for their games FIFA 18 and FIFA 19 and so at first didn't make any changes. The Belgium authorities however then started legal action against the video game publisher and they then ultimately backed down and removed the FIFA Ultimate Team packs with microtransactions. However, as mentioned, Nintendo isn't just removing the loot box like mechanics, but will no longer be releasing these games in the country at all and Nintendo are not the only ones to have taken similar action. This is comparable to Square Enix's actions for three of their mobile games as they have decided to completely pull Mobius Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia in the country. These events highlight how cautious publishers will now have to be when releasing games in Belgium and how future games will likely be affected in the country if they contain similar mechanics. Belgium isn't the only country to so far take big measures against loot box like mechanics. The Netherlands investigated several games last year and found four to be breaking government regulations, these being Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Team Fortress 2, Dota 2 and Rocket League. Consequently, all of these games have now had the offending mechanics removed for Dutch players. Alongside this, many other nations are now heavily investigating loot boxes and determining if they should be regulated. For instance, in the United States, Senator Josh Hawley formally introduced a bill in the United States Senate last month dubbed the Protecting children from abusive games act. This bill if approved would reportedly ban loot boxes and pay to win microtransactions in games played by minors. And so this is definitely a rapidly developing story and there will likely be many more updates in the near future. As always please let us know your thoughts in the comments below and consider subscribing to see more videos on how media is changed around the world. Until next time, thank you for watching.